All right. Uh, so I want to talk about comping and comping through tune-up. Um, so comping means uh, it's short for accompanying. Uh, so it's generally the chords and rhythm that goes along with uh, a melody. Um, so first I want to talk about comping range. Um, I would say that generally speaking, we're going to be playing a little bit lower than you're used to playing on the piano. You probably are used to thinking of your right hand as sitting right in the middle of treble clef, which is going to be over here uh, to the right of middle C. That's not where uh, we want our right hand to sit generally for comping. We generally want it to be right around that area of where middle C is. This is for the right hand chords that we're playing. Um, maybe even slightly to the left of middle C uh, in this lower range. That's just where the chords give us a feeling of uh, harmonic foundation of, of uh, a full, fullness, uh, especially on the piano. Uh, there are times where, for effect, you might play the chords in a higher register, but that would be uh, not so typical. Um, and there's a little picture here of where the general range is for where you want your chords to sit uh, in the right hand. Generally, you want the lowest note that you would ever really comp in your right hand uh, is generally going to be this D flat. Um, and the highest note you would generally comp would be this B flat. Um, so your right hand's going to be sitting somewhere in between those two spots, but those are kind of the extremes, um, that D flat to the B flat. Most of the time you're going to be sitting kind of in the middle. For your left hand, it's also going to be sitting lower than you would typically maybe think of it being. If you're thinking of it being right in the middle of the bass clef, um, that's going to be right around here on the piano. Um, but that's actually pretty high for where we might want our left hand to sit. Uh, if you think about where an upright bass sits, uh, the lowest note on an upright bass is low E. Then the next string is A. Then the next string is D. And the next string is G. So playing above G is like playing on the highest string on an upright bass. Um, so, you know, I mean, upright bass can get get up high, uh, if you think about Scott LaFaro or, uh, you know, bass, any bass player sometimes will, for effect, go into a, an upper register. But most of the time where, where it's going to have the most meat is down in this lower range that's actually below the bass clef uh, with lots of ledger lines. Um, so, you know. That's where it kind of has that meat. Okay, so that's the range. Um, let's talk about the, the bass for our comping. So right now we're gonna comp with what we call a two feel. Uh, so two beat feel, which basically means there are two, two notes happening in each measure, generally. Um, there are uh, a, a note in the bass every two beats. And so we're gonna be playing the bass line with our left hand, and we're gonna play roots on beat one and fifths on beat three. Uh, so on tune-up, uh, if we're doing, here's the first four bars, uh, starting on E minor seven, we're gonna play the root E, then the fifth on beat three. So the fifth of E minor is B. Okay, and then the next chord is A7. So we're gonna play the root a on beat one, then we're going to play the fifth, E, on beat three. Okay, so we put all that together and a one, two, three, four.
Okay, so that's our, our baseline. And you can switch up the range, the, the register on this. You can take notes up an octave or down an octave, um, depending on what's smoothest. Uh, but this is what we'll start with for our baseline. Ultimately, you know, throughout this course, we're going to learn some other ways to walk bass lines. Uh, but right now, just a nice two beat feel, playing roots on one, fifths on three, um, is going to be a good place to start. Um, and on the PDF uh, called Tune Up Comping, um, I have written out the beginning of this for you. So I'd suggest you go through and write out the rest of the bass line, putting roots on one and fifths on three for the rest of the song. Um, okay. Now in our right hand, we're going to just be playing the core right now, the third and seventh of the chords. So I started a little on the high side, just so later on we won't have to shift as much. Um, and I also have written out the beginning of this for you on that PDF, and I suggest you go through and write out the rest yourself. Um, and if you do that, you are welcome to uh, email it to me and have me check over your work. I'm happy to look at it uh, and make sure you're on the right track. So um, anyway, this is this should seem pretty similar to the two five one cycles that you've already been doing. Um, so we start out with uh, the root and seventh and third in the right hand. Uh, so this is tune up a one two three four. So notice, if you'll notice in bar 11, I wrote out the right hand going to the B-flat major 7. That's where you end up if you're just following the 2-5-1 cycle. Um, but then you'll notice I wrote it out for the next chord, what's happening, and during this first ending, I had it jump up for the G minor 7. Um, and it doesn't, it wouldn't have to do that, um, but you're going to end up getting kind of low if you don't jump up. So I chose to jump up. It's going to lead us back to the beginning in the same inversion that we were. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what this is. And then when you get comfortable with, with all this, um, you can start putting a little bit of rhythm into your right hand. You don't have to just play whole notes. Um, so, for instance, uh, this is how I might actually comp through this with these voicings. A one, two, three, four.
So um, that is the tune-up comping. The one thing I want to mention that's important is that while this PDF is meant to be helpful for you figuring out the voicings uh, on your own, when you go to do the video assignment and as you're practicing this before that, uh, you should not be using this written out sheet music of your voicings. You, uh, if anything, use the lead sheet that I sent of the, the song. Um, that's just got the melody and, and chord changes. Uh, but don't use the written out notation because you don't want to be reading the notation. You want to be uh, the notation of the voicings. You want to be reading the melody and chord changes. Um, so please do, you know, the, the reason for this PDF is for you to figure out the voicings. It's for that purpose. But once you figure them out, you want to be dealing with them in your head. Um, you don't want to be reading the voicings off of the PDF. Uh, and I'm talking about the PDF that's called Tune Up Comping. Uh, and the same goes with the PDF uh, of the melody of Tune Up with the two note voicings that I'm going to do another video for in just a moment. Okay, uh, please email me if you have any questions. Thanks so much.